Tuesday, December the 19th, 8 o'clock p.m. Let's see what the solar production was for the system today and who got closest to it in the comments. I can already tell you right now, I didn't get it, I was off. So I guess that the system yesterday, even though it was about 145, that batteries were basically fully charged. I guess the load was a lot higher than I realized. I should have looked at our loads we were using yesterday. So it wasn't as high as I thought it was gonna be. It was more than yesterday, of course. And bam, as you can see, 96.1 kilowatt hours. So not as high as I was hoping it would be, but for this time of the year, that's still pretty good. 96 kilowatts out of a 16 kilowatt array. So that's basically like kind of like the array getting full power for six hours. So not bad, more than the five that a lot of people use, a lot of businesses use for the standard they're gonna tell you that you're gonna be able to get with a solar array. And this will probably be my worst time of the year because the days are so short. And right around now, they'll slowly start getting longer from now till next summer. I think the shortest day of the year was like a week or two ago. So solar production should be going up from here on out, but 96 kilowatt hours with my system that I have right now. Currently, if I go ahead and add that other 12 panels to my other MPPT on my third inverter, I mean, that's definitely gonna, I mean, that's gonna kick it up at least like 20 kilowatts. Let's see how much we got off the, my one uh, MPPT on that array. And the solar production for today was 21.9 kilowatt hours. So if we got another 21.9, 21.9, and then what was it, 96.1? That's 118 kilowatt hours that I could have got today. If the other array that I'm gonna put up is facing the exact same way, 118 kilowatt hours, I might have it facing a little, little more west or a little more east. So I get either the morning sun or the evening sun. Probably the evening sun, just because of where I might put it over the chicken coop area or something like that. And that way, late in the evening, before it starts using up my batteries, I can use some more sun. I don't want them all facing the same way. During the middle of the day, I already had 13 uh, kilowatt hours, basically of solar coming in. And you don't want so much coming in at a time. You rather have some coming in the middle of the day, some coming in the end of the day or the beginning, you know, if it's that much power. So I'm gonna try to probably do the evening. And that way, even if I don't get 118 kilowatt hours, let's say I get 112, but it's the right time that I'm getting it in. You know, it's better in the evening, so my battery is not dropping. So instead of getting it in the middle of the day when, let's say, you possibly your batteries are charged and you're not gonna use it, you use it in the evening when the other arrays, you know, the power's coming down on them, that, that array will be coming up and it'll even out throughout the whole day and you'll be able to use solar until basically there's no sun at all. So let's go ahead and look on the comments for right now and see who was the closest. You know, there might be people watch the video after this, it's only 8.06. We got one that says 97.2. <laughs> I, I, I don't wanna mess somebody's name up here. This one right here, 97.2, that's the closest I've seen so far. Somebody said 110, somebody else said 110, somebody else said 115. Man, they had more confidence in my system than I had, that's for sure. I only said 105. The 97.2, hey, <laughs> I, I, can't, I guess you are the winner. I guess I should have did a prize or something, but I, I'll probably be doing some drawings on something and some giveaways. I have links below for all this stuff if you're interested. If you want me to, I can link up everything for my system. I'll go ahead and talk about it just for a quick second. I got uh, 305 watt panels on my tilde array out here, the Hyundai or whatever. But as you can see, they're working pretty good. I have my main array that has the solar ever, 445 to 455 watt panels, so basically 450 watts. I mean, those things have been working great since I, I got them. I've had some of those for like a couple of years now. They've been doing good and they're still doing good. Then I got three of the EG4 6000 XP inverters. Of course, I just got all those hooked up. If you're interested in that, I got a whole playlist basically of all the testing I've done with this thing so far. So go ahead and check that out. Then I have 85 kilowatt hours of batteries, mostly EG4. And I have one EG4 that's a waterproof. I got three of the new LLS batteries and then the rest are basically Life Power 4. Then I have one that I don't recommend. Basically, I don't, I don't recommend the Orient Power, the, the old Jacobur uh, battery at this time. You know, maybe some new stuff's all right, but you know, hey, you can do that on your own. I just don't recommend it. Then we have a few people asking about cabling for the system. Basically, I have four aught cable coming from my six uh, battery racks to my bus bar. I have Victron Lynx Power In and Power Distributor bus bars. So if you're interested in that, I guess I can link that up as well. And then if I have an individual battery hooked up, which I have several of them that's not in a rack, I have two gauge 
uh, and then I have two gauge going from the bus bar to each inverter. I just recommend everybody do their own research because it definitely depends on how long the cable is going to be and all that kind of stuff. But I bought my stuff from Signature Solar. I can link that stuff up as well. I'm just going to try to remember to link up everything because people are always asking now, it seems like, hey, what'd you use for this? What'd you use for that? I'm going to try to link it all. So if you're interested, go, you know, link down in the description. And another thing, anybody that's going to buy something, they got a holiday sale going on right now, 5% off, I think, everything. And then if you use code Rodney Hunt, you get another $50 off for every order over $500. So if you're interested in that, I'll link all that stuff up below. And remember, if you like this kind of video, like this kind of content, you want to see other things I'm going to be doing with this system, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and thanks for watching.